Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2020 from the topic of um, Newton's Law of Cooling. This was a numeric type question and this was a fairly simple question. I believe most of the students would have done it fairly easily. Let's see what's happening over here. Also, I'm going to tell you one interesting point in this. So basically, it is a container which has 1 kg of water and uh, the effective area on which uh, so basically sunlight is falling on that water because of which the temperature of the water is slightly more than the surrounding temperature the area of the water on which sunlight falls is given as 0 0.05 and the intensity of the sunlight is 700 watt per meter square uh, the water is losing heat because which follows uh, the loss of heat follows newton's law of cooling so we have to find the constant temperature difference between the water and the surrounding. That means the steady state temperature difference between the water and the surrounding. The Newton's constant, that means the constant for Newton's law of cooling has been given as 0 0.001 per second. Heat capacity uh, of the water has been given as 4 to double zero joules per kg per Kelvin, right? So first let's solve the question and then I'm going to talk about the interesting point, right? So question per se is very easy. If you think that this is water, so we can say that total heat falling on this water will be uh, the area exposed area which is 0 0.05 into total intensity which is 700 so this is the rate at which heat is falling so at the steady state at if you talk about the steady state the rate of heat fall would have been the rate of heat loss so which we can say is rate of heat loss which is nothing but dq by dt so basically the rate of heat loss okay dq by dt so this is dq in by dt and will be equals to dq out by dt dq out by dt can be written as mass which is 1 kg into specific heat which is 4 to double zero into uh, dt by dt now you remember dt by dt can be written as uh, constant into temperature difference we find newton's law of cooling so dt by dt can be written as constant what is constant this constant 0 0.001 into dt by dt dt by dt is uh, uh, sorry 0 0.001 into delta t 0 0.001 into delta t right so dt by dt written as 0 0.001 into temperature difference t minus t surrounding correct so this is uh, this is what we are interested in finding actually delta t this is what we are interested in finding so from here you can see delta t this is a very easy calculation as well so if you take this this becomes 35 divided by uh, 4.2 so this will become 350 by 42 which will 76 just 750 25 by 3 which is 8.33 degrees celsius or kelvin whatever you want to say it will be same thing since we are talking about the temperature difference so answer will be 8.33 now comes the interesting part how did we decide that the uh, newton's law like this is the same constant which we are talking about here newton's law of cooling constant is 0 0.001 per second remember um, we have to see the unit like sometimes j might if j says that the constant in the Newton's law of cooling is 0 0.001 watt per Kelvin, watt per Kelvin. So now you'll have to think, what does, suppose the constant would have been 0 0.001 watt per Kelvin. What does this mean? Now Newton's law of cooling is dt by dt is equals to some constant into temperature difference. So clearly this constant which is given over here will have a unit of per second. Hence we use this we saw the unit and took this as the constant in Newton's law of cooling. But if question says that the constant in the Newton's law of cooling has the unit watt per Kelvin, then of course it cannot be this constant. So if you think carefully, if you multiply this by ms, ms, now this becomes ms dt by dt, which is rate of heat change. We can say rate of heat going or incoming. So dq by dt. So basically, if it is Newton's law of cooling, then of course it will be uh, rate of heat outflow only. So this will be equals to uh, watt and this is Kelvin, right? So basically in that case, this will be effective new constant. MSB will become a new constant. Okay, and its unit will be, its value will be 0 0.001, right? So we have to understand that what constant they have given by looking at the unit. One more thing, if you see here, they have written heat capacity, but here the unit is joules per kg per Kelvin. So again, it doesn't matter what it is written over here. We have to see this unit. So this is a specific heat capacity. In this question, since the mass was 1 kg, so anyway, it would not have made any difference. But if the mass was 2 kg or 3 kg, then it we would, we would have 
not taken that as heat capacity but we would have taken that as specific heat capacity although we already know that heat capacity specific heat capacity of the water is approximately 4 to double zero joules per kg per kelvin so i hope you would have understood one more point ignore effect of the container because container will also uh, absorb some heat from the sun so which we have to neglect over here hence we are ignoring the presence of the container so i hope you have understood have the point in this question and you would have enjoyed the solution. Thank you.